Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has offered all available resources to Tampa police after Halloween festivities in Ybor City turned deadly in a shooting that killed two and injured at least 18 others, a tragedy that comes less than a year after the state passed a law allowing gun owners to carry without a state permit. The Tampa neighborhood of Ybor City's Halloween festivities were disrupted when two fighting groups pulled out guns and started shooting with hundreds of innocent people, in the way early Sunday morning, police said. Two people were fatally shot and 18 were hurt although not all those injured were hit by gunfire. Injuries included those hurt in a stampede to escape the scene that included people toppling metal tables and taking cover behind them, ABC News reported. Tampa Bay Mayor Jane Castor told reporters that Tampa is not an inherently dangerous city, but pushed for changes to gun laws that would prevent such shootings, according to the Tampa Bay Times. DeSantis is a generally pro-gun politician who supported a piece of legislation that allows gun owners to carry firearms in Florida without a state permit. A law that went into effect this March days after a school shooting in Nashville killed three children. Several elected officials in Florida, including Democratic Party Chair Nikki Fried and Florida Representative Lindsey Cross, a Democrat, have called on Congress to pass more gun laws since the Tampa shooting, Politico reported. Bad decisions made in a split second and the proliferation of readily available guns are responsible for these almost daily incidents. We can affect one half of this equation, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor said on By.7. That's how many people were killed in a series of Halloween weekend shootings across the country, in addition to dozens more that were injured. In addition to the Tampa shooting, people were killed or hurt in shootings in Indiana, Florida, Kansas and Illinois. The Gun Violence Archive which tracks mass shootings in which four or more people were killed or injured, not including the assailant, says 35 people have died in mass shootings so far this year in Florida. In 2022, 21 people died in mass shootings in the states and 27 died in 2021.